Well, I'm joined here by Surya Shekhar Ganguly. Surya, uh, today you are playing against uh, Venkatesh and uh, he played his usual Knight F3 stuff and he's very solid. Uh, how were you able to break through? Uh, he was playing, uh, at some point he played C3, not very ambitious. He could transpose into Catalan with C4, but instead, uh, I mean, he could play Castle and C4 and get into Catalan. But he played this C3 move. I continued developing with uh, Knight C6, Bishop E7, and I was intending to castle. The main problem is if you get into this setup with Bishop G2 and E6 D5, now your Bishop on G2 needs that break. You really need to play uh, C4. He played Knight B D2, and I think it, this was an important moment. So with Knight B D2, he probably wants to take on C5, then play B4 and get his other Bishop out. The moment he plays Knight B D2, I took on D4 and he has to take on d4 back with the pawn now we get the symmetrical structure with two major difference one i have my knight on c6 which is attacking on d4 he has his knight on d2 which has no prospect and the second difference is my bishop on e7 is far more better than his bishop on g2 because now the bishop on g2 does not have any breaks if he plays e4 he will end up with d4 an isolated is an pawn. Isolated pawn. so basically both his bishops are bad then at some point we started developing, he played b3 bishop b2, I went b6 bishop a6. Now if you compare both the bishops, uh, bishop on a6 and e7 both are super active and b2 and g2 bishop both are bad. Then at some point he allowed me to uh, play knight e4 and uh, we got a position where he took on e4, I took and then I got f5, again killing the bishop on g2. He tried knight c4, I played d5. I was actually expecting he will play knight e5. I was intending to take knight into e5, d into e5. And now again uh, giving the same uh, logic that both his bishops are bad. To be honest, I did not even decide what move to play at this point. Uh, should I take rook into c1, should I play b4, but uh, in any case, uh, or queen into d1, but I thought I'm just better there. So instead he went knight e3, and now bishop g5 giving a positional threat of taking on e3 at some point then again his bishop on g2 is dead forever so he wanted to play f he played f4 i took he took on f3 and now he wants to play f4 again and at this point i got f4 mm. then again i mean throughout the game if you see his minor pieces the both the bishops and the knight it never got to breathe and uh, I didn't have to calculate any complicated lines or uh, anything as such. It was just his pieces were uh, not playing. At the end, uh, yeah, I got some combination, but uh, some way or other it should be winning anyways. So I would say the critical mistake was uh, already some inaccuracy was knight bd2. And then also to allow, uh, pretty much allow me to play everything that I wanted. Amazing. Uh, Surya, uh, when it comes to these inter-petroleum tournaments, there are three t teams which are always vying for the top spot. Uh, Indian Oil, uh, ONGC and BPCL. Uh, how is the rivalry like? It, it gets very intense actually. I mean, at some point, um, if we go uh, pre-Covid era, this used to be the strongest tournament in India, like forever, yeah? Uh, you know, with Vidit playing, Hari playing, Sashi, Hampi, Adivan, Setu, everyone. This time we are missing Vidit and Hari, obviously. Right. Um, but yeah, the competition has been uh, very intense. And um, we all are um, aware that uh, how important this tournament is uh, as a team event. When you will come for the individual uh, tournament, you will see a completely different uh, ambience altogether. All the players are relaxed. relaxed and you know. But uh, yeah, team even can get really intense. Uh, for example, as of now, we don't know what is going on. Tomorrow is going to be the yes. decider. We are playing ONGC. You might play Humpy tomorrow. I might play Humpy. And uh, yeah, they have a very strong lineup uh, with uh, Shashi, Humpy, Deep, Setu, Nilotpal at reserve. So yeah, who knows? We'll yeah, see. it'll be exciting. Will and be yes, I will come. And I want. I don't want to miss the spectacle. Also, I want to ask you about the role of Indian Oil in your chess career. Uh, how many years has it been since you are working with them? So I joined Indian Oil in uh, 2000. And Indian Oil is truly a family for me because Indian Oil came at that junction, at that point of my career 
when literally you know there was this thought will i be able to continue pleasures to pleasures because financially it was getting uh, incredibly difficult and it was at the, that moment indian oil helped and what i always liked about indian oil is not just the financial help but the kind of emotional support i get uh, from my company in what so, way so you know it's always very uh, it's very natural when you play well when you get medal people congratulate people say you know good and you're playing excellent and so on but in indian oil i have also noticed when i am in not in shape they never come and tell me uh, you know why you are not playing good they always uh, have confidence in me they will always encourage me motivate me and i really cannot name any particular person it's like everybody is like that the general ambience is very good so that's what i uh, really like about it uh, you know the motivation that i get from my company and secondly um, as i said it has become a family because uh, when i did not have anything i had indian oil and that's how i got here and so naturally uh, when you play for indian oil it feels really like you're playing for your family absolutely absolutely it's like you know uh, you can you can grow as much as you want but you cannot forget your root so for me indian oil is the you know the, the root amazing how they have supported chess overall and uh, surya good luck for tomorrow uh, i'm looking forward to that encounter okay hey, thank you and i also wanted to add today is international women's day yes and uh, indian oil recruited uh, 15 players uh, from women hockey team so i think uh, that's also another uh, lovely gesture yes they also have a full women's team exactly with harika soumya isha, uh, isha uh, padmini and uh, mary yeah. so amazing yeah thanks sir